Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and in this episode uh, we're gonna go through a very quick um, modifier here in Blender and this is just gonna be a very quick uh, Blender video here um, and I'm working on a kit that uh, this probably should be out by the time the video comes out but um, it's gonna be out very soon and uh, I just wanted to show you I'm working on this roof uh, here and, and how it's gonna be constructed and so I want to uh, find a way to sort of duplicate this little tile asset that I already have here. And I wanted to duplicate it all around my roof here, right? And so a good way to do that is with the array modifier. Now the array modifier, you can find it on the regular modifier menu here. So if I select my object, go to add modifier and then array. Now once I apply that by default is on X so it's going to be duplicating this on the x-axis. And so if I slide this, I can control the distance on it. And you're going to have the y-axis and also the z-axis, right? But for right now, I just want to concentrate on one at a time. And I'm going to do the x-axis first. Because so I want to duplicate it all the way across through this roof. And so I'm going to find the spot here. And I'm going to try to do 0.8 here. And so that looks good. And now here on the top, I can control the count. Now, right now it's two, two pieces. I want to increase that to, let's do 10. Perfect. So now they're all copies. The cool thing about this is uh, my original, which is this one. If I uh, turn off the display here of the modifier, and let's say I go to edit mode and I do this, and let's extrude that in just for fun of it, right? I got that little indentation and I turn it on again. All my copies are going to have the same thing, right? So, so the cool thing is if I don't apply the modifier, I can keep working on my original one and then it's going to be reflected on my copies, right? So now the problem that I have is I want to duplicate these going up into this angle here, going all the way up to the edge here. So I could use probably the Z, um, offset here but when I do that it's just gonna take my whole thing uh, individually my copies and offset them you know whatever that distance is on my z-axis it's not duplicating uh, as a whole as a unit and so uh, that's something that I'm I want to try to avoid so how can I do that I'll do another array modifier so I'll do another one and by default it's on X so I'm gonna put zero on there and now I'm going to go to my Z and now I can, you can see that it's moving it as a whole, just going up. Now let's find a good spot here. Uh, maybe this negative 0.8 and I have just one copy. So I'm going to duplicate that count and I'm going to do that. Now I think if I offset a little bit the Y, I get a little there we go. I get a little step here, which I think it will be cool um, to get some uh, lights and shadows in here. I don't want to go too much because in the in a very long one, it's, it's just kind of look weird. So um, it's just a little bit, maybe 0.5. Nope, sorry, 0 0.05. There we go. It's much better. All right, so now I got uh, two array modifiers in there. And if I don't want to see that, I can just click off the uh, monitor here and then I can keep working on my original one. Or you just see how it goes and uh, that's what it does. Now, I'm going to do the same thing to this because I want to duplicate this all the way. And I'm going to go to my front view here. <coughs> and add modifier, all right. I'm going to play more with the offset here because I want it to be right underneath my roof tile circle part there. And I'm going to increase my count. And as you saw here, it's a little bit off to the right here on the last one. That means it's not completely in the center. So I can tweak here for maybe 4.3. That's too much. 4.35. Nope. A little bit more. 4.38. Oops. 
And that looks close. All right. And again, that's another just one object with a modifier. And now I can come in here and maybe if I want to want to add more details to this. I can come here. Extract that a bit. Scale that down. And as you can see, it applies it to all my copies. Cool. Well, that's the array modifier. I hope you guys uh, find a very good use to it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.